Hey guys, welcome back to Big Lou TV. So as you can see today on the board, I'm going to just be going through the England player ratings for the game yesterday against Croatia. So, you know, got got off to a um, solid win. I'll go through that. Um, but first of all, I do want to quickly say about a little mention to Christian Eriksen. Um, you know, sending our thoughts and prayers to his family, friends and, and himself and uh, everyone involved with the, especially the Danish team and I know his, his teammates at um in italy you know into milan it's um it was quite a traumatic thing that happened and you know, like i say life and death um well done to the medical teams and everyone involved i just think everyone really um was really sending good thoughts to him the other day because it, it football took a back seat really didn't it i just want to say that um good news is isn't he he's awake and everything um you know it could have been a lot worse um so I just wanted to say that before I get to the video, so I'm hoping for a speedy recovery, Christian. Right then, so the England player ratings then. Now, I haven't really given it much thought um, yet, so when I when I come up with a number, that'll be it'll be purely sort of live kind of thing. And so we'll just go through it then, um, and I'll give you my overall thoughts of the game and generally what I think as we go through it. Right then, so. Jordan Pickford, as I actually said in my predictions thing, I thought he would start. I thought it'd be an, it'd be amazing. Amazing is probably the wrong word, but a total surprise if he didn't play. So he played, and what would I give him? The thing is, he didn't have much to do, did he? Really, didn't have much to do at all. So I can't give him really high for that reason. He did have a lot of kicking though, and they had the ball back to him quite a few times. There was one kick he wasn't wasn't the best away from pitch but I say as long as the keeper doesn't because he goals that's that should be my priority isn't it um so I'll give him a give him a seven because um he didn't really do anything wrong but he didn't have much to do either I'm not going to give him too low for a keeper it's uh what you're supposed to do isn't it well, seven looks a bit strange isn't it? yeah right so yeah give him a seven right on to Walker then um now Walker there's some of these players, I thought to myself, I didn't see much of them in the game. I I saw him doing some fairly decent runs, and he he was keeping up with play, but I didn't see him do anything, like getting many crosses in, or anything that really grabbed my attention. Um, So I'm going to give him a six. I can't recall much, really, from Walker. Not that he did anything particularly bad that I recall either, but didn't jump out at me. Okay, Stones. Now they were getting a lot. They were doing a lot of passing all around the pitch yesterday. Maybe the heat was a big factor, and I did say actually that because the runners-up of this group probably on paper get an easier draw in the next round. Maybe both teams didn't want to win. They were like trying to lose, which is a strange situation to be in. Um, I don't know if that came into it because both, neither team looked like they were really going for it. So for that reason, like Stones didn't have loads of defending that I saw for him to do. So I did see him head it away quite a few times. So um, yeah, I'll give him a seven. It was decent, decent from Stones. Yes, right then, Mings. Now Mings was a big choice from Southgate because. We were thinking, well, who's going to partner um, Stones in, in, in the centre of defence if Maguire isn't playing? And, and what formation is he, is he going to do, actually? He did a formation I thought he would do, a 4-2-3-1. Well, I thought he'd have a lot. He'd be very defensive. I said it would almost be a 3-5, a, um, a three, a three almost, in his formation. But, he, but So we had Mings then. And... Mings stood out. He he had a lot to do, and and I was very impressed with Tyro Mings. On like his first was would it would it would have been well his his first appearance in a major tournament, I believe, or definitely starting, and it was good in my opinion. I think he's going to get one of my higher ratings of this list. I'm going to give him a good eight to you. Yeah, get him a green pen there. Good old eight. Right, Trippier, this was an interesting choice. He didn't go with a left back. And in my original predictions, I thought he might go with three at the back, have the short uh, Luke Short left back, and then have two wing backs. 
but in, in, he didn't. He went with four at the back, and, and he plays Trippier, who's normally right back, and he played him in left back position. I've got to say that was strange because you've had two left backs in the squad. One's Champions League winner, and the Luke Shaw had a great season at United. So you've got two great left backs in the squad, and you didn't play either of them. I think it's just, it's just astounding that, you, that that he did that. But I'm not saying Trippier didn't play, um, you know, didn't play that badly. I there was one bit when he did a, a header or a pass back to the keeper and it almost didn't reach Pickford. I was like, oh. Um, but overall, I, he was doing some good ball. He was, he was cutting in all the time. He used his right foot when he was in left back position. He was doing some good balls over the top looking for the runners of the uh, like Mount, Foden, Kane. Uh, it worked quite well. So for that reason, I'll give him a solid seven. Yeah. I would like trip A. In the team, like I say, in my 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 uh, formation and team would have Trippier in it, but I'd have him on the right, like where he's supposed to be. I wouldn't have Walker. That's just my opinion, though. But it's amazed he put him left back. Amazed. But I think one of them was one was Chilwell even on the bench. There was one player. I know Sancho wasn't on the bench, which quite surprised me. All right, here's we didn't play rating there. Right now, Phillips. Well, he was standout, wasn't he? And I think he even. He even got man of the match. I saw some of his stats after the game. It was like 100% pass accuracy. And it, there was many other stats on there. that it was just, wow. But even if I hadn't seen the stats, I thought he was our best player. He, he was running the show. He, he was doing some tactical fouls. I guess you've got to learn to do them. But the clever thing about them was he wasn't too heavy-handed when he did the tactical fouls. And he didn't do it when there was a proper, like, crazy fast counter-attack happening. So he got away with not even getting a card. So I think, well, I think his performance was the best one on the pitch. And I think if anyone deserves, has earned their place in the little starting line next time, it's him. So he gets a nine. I could even give him a 10, but I'll give him a nine because it was still quite a, what's the word, sort of low key match. Wonder what would happen if it would be high, more high intensity. And if it would have been more high intensity game and he played that incredible, maybe he'd be getting 10. Very, very rare to give 10s, though. Declan Rice. Well, he did a decent job with Calvin, with Calvin Phillips. So I guess he was he didn't push up as far. And again, because they didn't have loads of defensive duties to do, I didn't see, I didn't really see much of Rice. But when a few times he did get on the ball and a few times I saw him do the clearances, he was controlled and did his passes well. And he looked like he was keeping in position. So nothing spectacular, but decent. So I, I give him, I give him a seven as well. Mount, Mount, you know, he was very good on the ball, and he was he was picking up Trippier's ball's head in the pitch fairly well. Uh, one of our better players, Mount, he was getting some crosses in. He was driving forward, and he has to be because there wasn't tons of attacking players on the pitch. So I think he gets a decent rating, so I'm going to give him a good eight. Good old mount. Yes. Foden. Foden, another one. He did some good controlling of the ball with the passes up front. He had that shot, didn't he, that um, hit the post in the first few minutes. We cut inside. It was just the fact that it went very low key, didn't it? And it throughout the whole game and like I said maybe it was the heat and maybe both teams worrying about trying to win in a way in a way trying to lose which is a strange phenomenon but maybe that was what they were doing I wasn't sure so because even again this has got to be his first well I know he's played for the under um like 21s or 19s for England I bet this is his first senior tournament and I thought brilliant so I'll give him an eight still things to work on but his ball control pretty good and I thought he had a good performance. Right, Kane. I'm probably going to be a bit harsh to Kane here. You know, he's supposed to be our star man, golden boot winner last time. And he barely touched the ball. And I, I can't really recall him at all being on it. Is that because it wasn't, there wasn't much service to him? or And there was times when he was trying to come back down the pitch to receive the ball and things like that. But I really cannot recall much at all from, from Kane. I'd probably give him a six long walker. But I'm going to give him lower. Because I expect more from Harry Kane. If he's supposed to be like a gold, 
you know, such a good goal scorer and, and our captain. And I didn't see didn't see much from him. Yeah, surely he's got to be the one that's lifting everyone and getting them to fight on and everything. Maybe he was doing more things in the game I'm unaware of. Like maybe he was shouting well and and organising them, etc., etc. Because they England did have a solid shape. But from what my eyes could see and watching the match, it didn't grab me at all. I mean, I didn't even know he was on the pitch. So, unfortunately, I'm going to give him low. So, there you go. Sorry, sorry, Kane. But must do better, because we ain't winning the Euros, you're playing like that. And Sterling. Sterling then. I'm, now, I'm never a massive fan of Sterling, because I think he wastes chances. And... Um, and at times he, he he struggles to beat players. He he looks sometimes I think the Man City team he plays in makes him look better than he is. He's still committed though to England, you know, and he he, he took the goal well, got a good position. I've got to say, it, Phillips's pa Phillips pass to him was really well done, wasn't it? So he gets the assist. Um, that was the, and I also want to say about Phillips that he had a good shot, didn't he, as well at one point from I think it was like a corner and it comes out to him. He kept it low. That could that could have gone anywhere. Parry. But um, yeah, it's a good assist for Sterling, and he took the goal well. But he did sort of hit the keeper, but he scored. And that's his first time scoring, I think, an international tournament for England. So that's great. Well, I think it is. I could be wrong with that stat. But there was a few times he got through on goal, and he sort of fluffed a chance, and he, and he did do some direct runs at the Croatian defence. But I'm not going to give him as high as Mountain Foden or even Mings, just because I know he scored the goal. So again, I'm probably being harsh, but I'm giving him a seven. I still think it's decent. I, I think he could have done a lot better. The chances he was put in, and 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 he's one of the more experienced players here in the squad. I think 61 caps were along along those lines. I expect even more from him than what than what he gave. You know, getting in certain positions and didn't get shots away. And yeah, but it was still decent because you got the goal. So well done, we got the win. So that's what I would generally say about the the player ratings. The ones that I put in green, I'll definitely be having in the starting lineup next time. I, I guess, guess I would, yes, be having Kane still. But he must improve because um, that's not good enough. And I mean, why not even as well, you know, Bring because he did bring Calvert Lewin on for like a few minutes at the end. I could quickly rate the subs, but they were barely on for any minutes. Rashford was on for 20, but um, and I, I would give him a low rank if I did because I don't recall much from him. So, yeah, that's my player ratings. Let me know what you think about the England performance. How, how do you think it was? It was it was just generally controlled and nothing too fancy, wasn't it? So, it doesn't say much to me about whether we could win it. I'm, I'm after that performance yesterday, I'm a bit apprehensive. But yeah, tell me what you think of player ratings, how you think the game went. Do you think they were trying to lose or not win it because they're, they're even thinking of, if we do get through, do we want to win the group? I don't know. And was, the weather, was the weather a factor? Right. So yeah, won't go on too long. Tell us what you think, people. And I will see you again. I'll do some more um, England reviews and things throughout this tournament. Right. See you later, people. Bye.